it's important to be aware of the arterial supply of the scalp, including um, the su superficial temporal artery, which arises from the external carotid um, and in the parotid gland and runs superior over on top of the zygoma, the zygomatic arch, uh, before dividing into its uh, frontal or anterior and parietal and posterior branches. The posterior auricular uh, artery um, arises from the posterior surface of the external carotid and passes along the styloid process as it ascends up uh, posterior uh, to the external auditory canal. And also arising from the posterior surface of the external carotids are, of course, the occipital arteries, uh, which ascend posteriorly towards the occiput, um, piercing the fascia between the trapezius and sternocleidomastoid near that superior nuchal line and continue ascending inside or in the, the superficial fascia. In terms of innervation of the scalp, uh, anterior to the ear, um, sensory innervation is from the trigeminal nerve. Um, and we have the supratrochlear and supraorbital anteriorly, which uh, are branches of a fr the frontal nerve, which comes off of the ophthalmic nerve. Um, and we have the zygomatico temporal nerve, which comes up interolaterally, uh, branching off of V2, and the auriculo temporal, uh, which is a branch of V3. And then in terms of motor innervation, we of course have that frontal branch of the facial nerve, which we mentioned before runs in that fat pad uh, between the deep and superficial fascia, uh, the temporalis uh, fascia. Um, posterior to the ear, we have the lesser occipital, greater auricular, greater occipital, third occipital sensory, and posterior auricular nerve motor. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.